Good day, everyone. Uh, first of all, how cool is this little coin? It's a Peter Peter the Rabbit coin. It's a 50p coin. I want to ask you, heads or tails? What is your option? Heads or tails? Heads it is. We get the queen's head. We get the queen's head. And tails is Peter Rabbit. There's a reason why I started like this. Is, uh, I like this kind of two sides of a coin. There's two sides to a story, and I wanted to just kind of share a little thought. I've been reading this book recently, um, Dream Big, by uh, Bob Goff. And this is a little story that I actually remember hearing in the news a few years ago. But it speaks of, um, there was news of this young man's mistake, big mistake, was all over the television channels. The story was about a young man who foolishly distracted by his cell phone, or mobile phone, not about the tremendous loss that the family had suffered. Basically, this guy was looking at his phone and, and he fell off a cliff to his death. And um, a few months later, the mother of this boy, or this guy who had fallen off the cliff, um, heard I was speaking in the city, talking about Bob Goff speaking in the city, and she wanted to meet up with Bob. And then he didn't know what to say. What would he say to her? And then he, he said, he remembers he had a picture remembers he had a picture of that day of the sunset and so he says that's when I remembered I'd taken a picture of the sunset it was the same one he was looking at when he fell I brought the photo in a simple frame and gave it to her instead of talking about the mistake he had made we talked about the beauty he saw and I just loved that when I read that I was like whoa that's so cool because media has a has a, a field day um bringing people down, tearing situations apart. And we could we could laugh at the folly or be irritated by the folly of a guy looking at his phone and falling off. But there's two sides to the story. Yes, it was a mistake. But you could also change it and say, what did he see that day before he fell off the cliff? That beauty, that incredible sunset. Um, and I just kind of, it just stayed with me. Two sides to a story. And it reminds me of uh, a few years ago. And it, you know, it's interesting what stays with you, what things like to stay with you and it was a um erwin mcmanus book um i think it was erwin mcmanus i stand to be corrected it could have actually been john elridge actually probably john elridge but erwin mcmanus go check him out anyway but john elridge is saying in the story that uh, his daughter comes home and the car is totaled um it's, it's a wreck and it's been an accident and he could lose his cool and say, what's wrong with you? I trust you to give, I trust you to, uh, by giving you the car, letting you take it out to go with your friends. And you get, this is what you come back with. You come back with a car that is wrecked. What's wrong with you? He could totally lose his cool, his shiz, and just blow and explode on her. And like, ah, what have you done? But there's two sides to the story. And he knew he would not, he said he didn't want to do that. You know, like just explode and, and so he finds out what had happened and um, she had got to inter intersection and she was doing everything right by the law. She was watching the traffic lights and when it was green, she, she went. But a guy who was drunk, a third party, someone else who was drunk, raced through the red light and collided with her and the car's total right off. But the daughter and the friends that were in the car are all all right. Are all, all right. And there, again, two sides of the story. The dad could have lose, lost his cool and just like, this is not, not good. But he actually changed the story around and said, like, thankfully, my daughter is still with me. Thankfully, my daughter is still alive. And so there are always two sides to a story. And that was kind of the concept. I wrote a book recently. Um, and one, one thing is called Two Sides of a Coin, a little short story. And I kind of liked the fact that every situation, every scenario in life has two sides. You know, um, and I always try to think, what was the other person's experience of that moment? Or how could this the scenario that we're in be seen from another person? So, like a simple one, it's not, not here, but I always think, so you're having a grumpy day and you're going into a store and like the lady, there's such a long queue and the lady behind the counter is gets gets your your frustration. You just pour it out on her. And, and it's not fair on her, um, but you pour it out on her. And then her story, she maybe goes home, this uh, person who works at Till, maybe she's married, she goes home to a partner, a husband, and says, 
I was having an amazing day and then someone came and ruined it. And there's just kind of like two sides, you know. So you you bring a story um, and you're frustrated and you could add that and then someone else. Or her side of the story is I was really frustrated and I was so irritated and I was wanting to bite, argue back. But I know the customer is always right. And then I just bit my tongue. I, I, and then let, straight after that customer, the most amazing customer walked in and was just so kind and kind-hearted there's always two sides to a story i don't know i just like it every situation it can be seen from different angles and i kind of want to just leave you with that thought is whatever situation you find yourself in try put yourself out of the situation and see it from another angle and it will just i don't know enrich your life i guess having another perspective and scenarios just changes a lot of things so remember the two sides to a coin. Thanks for watching.